Hey there folks, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. And today, we're going to be going all blue, because we're going to talk about the Smurfs. For those who aren't familiar with these blue guys, the Smurfs began as a Belgian comic series created by Peo. Now, to be honest, I don't think I ever read the original Smurfs comics, nor have I seen the cartoon series that they starred in during the 80s. But, I did manage to see their two live-action movies during the 2010s. Now, I understand that lots of folks don't like them, but I do like some aspects about them, like the comedy and the voice cast. Plus, they were directed by Raja Gosnell, the same guy who directed the first two live-action Scooby-Doo movies. Yeah, I like those films, so what? And just recently, the Smurfs came back to the big screen. However, they're not in live action this time. Instead, Sony Pictures put the Smurfs in CGI. But, how well will this new version compare to their live action counterparts? Well, let's find out. Released on April 7th, 2017, the movie is Smurfs. The Lost Village. Now let's get started. Best friends, Smurfette, Brainy, Clumsy, and Hefty, use a special map that guides them through the Forbidden Forest, an enchanted wonderland that's filled with magical creatures. Their adventure leads them on a course to discover the biggest secret in Smurf history, as they race against time and the evil wizard Gargamel to find a mysterious village. So, what are my thoughts on this movie? Well, I thought this movie was a lot of fun. And, I think it's a lot better than the live-action movies, even though I still like them. <clears throat> but before I get ahead of myself on why I love this film, let's move on to Mustang Notes. On May 10th, 2012, just two weeks after the announced production of The Smurfs 2, Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures Animation were already developing a script for Smurfs 3, with scribes Kerry Kirkpatrick and Chris Potch, Hank Azaria revealed that the third film might actually deal with the genuine origins on how these characters ran into each other way back when. Unlike the first two live-action computer-animated films, the third film will be entirely computer-animated and won't be a sequel. In March 2014, it was revealed that Kelly Asbury was hired to direct the film. Exploring the origins of the Smurfs, the comedy adventure will feature a new take on the characters, with designs and environments more closely following the artwork created by Peo. The film is produced by Jordan Kerner and co-produced by Mary Ellen Boder. On June 14, 2015, Sony Pictures Animation revealed Get Smurfy as the title of the movie, along with a first look at the film. It was later retitled Smurfs The Lost Village. Now, in my opinion, since the Smurfs have shifted from live action to CGI, the animation looks very colorful, as well as it being smooth and cleaner. Plus, the forest looks very beautiful. I also like the humorous gags that happen throughout the movie, it makes me laugh so much that I couldn't even stop. <laughs> Plus, the creatures that the Smurfs meet in the Forbidden Forest are very creative, like the dragonflies and the glow-in-the-dark bunnies. Anyway, now that we're done with Mustang notes, let's move on to the characters and their voice actors. Oh, and just to give you a little heads up, all the Smurfs are replaced by different voice actors. But do they do a good job? Let's find out. The leader of the Smurfs, Papa Smurf, is voiced by Mandy Paddington, best known from Hayao Miyazaki's Castle in the Sky and The Wind Rises. In this film, Papa is very protective over all the Smurfs and forbids them to go into the Forbidden Forest. But, to me, I see him as a kind and caring leader. Our main character, Smurfette, 
is voiced by former Disney Channel star Demi Lovato. Best known from Camp Rock and the Princess Protection Program. Smurfette is a girl smurf who was created by the evil wizard Gargamel. Unknown of her usual origins, Smurfette goes on a quest to find her true place in Smurf kind. In my opinion, Smurfette is my favorite out of all the Smurfs. She's sweet, spunky, and very pretty. And I just love Demi's voice for her. It makes her sound very young and fun-loving. Next is Hefty Smurf, a strong Smurf voiced by Joe Manganiello. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Whom I only know from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man sequels. Now, since this is my first time seeing Hefty on the big screen, I think he makes a really hardcore Smurf, and a great supporting character while helping Smurfette on her journey through the forest. Next we have Clumsy Smurf, an accident-prone Smurf voiced by Jack McBrayer. Best known from 30 Rock, Wander Over Yonder, and Wreck-It Ralph. While Clumsy may be a bit of a klutz, he's still pretty funny when he panics and trips. We also have Brainy Smurf, a clever Smurf voiced by Danny Pudi, whom I only know as Little Boy Blue from Hoodwink 2. The thing I find interesting about Brainy is that he uses a ladybug named Snappy as a camera. Next is our villain, Gargamel, voiced by Rain Wilson. Gargamel is an evil wizard who seeks to find the Smurfs and destroy them. To me, Gargamel is a nasty character, but he is still a hilarious villain. But I find his use of freeze balls pretty creative when capturing the Smurfs and their female counterparts. Along with him is his cat Azrael, voiced by Frank Welker, and his monster bird, Monty, voiced by D. Bradley Baker. Now let's talk about the new Smurfs, starting with Smurf Willow. The motherly Smurf leader of Smurfy Grove, voiced by Julia Roberts, best known from Valentine's Day, Charlotte's Web, and Mother's Day, which I'll get to next month. Now, Willow is savvy and multi-talented, a peaceful presence who is also fiercely passionate. Everything she does, she does wholeheartedly. And that is exactly why, as the leader of the Smurfy Grove, Willow has raised a group of warrior Smurfs who are independent, self-starters, and capable of anything. Next is Smurf Storm, voiced by Michelle Rodriguez, whom I remember from James Cameron's Avatar. Smurf Storm is a strong and suspicious girl Smurf. She is also a no-nonsense, tough-as-nails warrior, who immediately questions why Smurfette and the boys have come to Smurfy Grove. Her protective nature makes it hard to trust these outsiders, but through her tough exterior lies a heart of gold, and underneath it all, a Smurf who would do anything for her family and friends. Rounding out the cast is Smurf Blossom, voiced by Ellie Kemper, Smurf Melody, voiced by Megan Trainer. and Smurf Lily, voiced by Ariel Winter. These three are also great new characters, but I dare not give anything away about them for fear of spoilers. And now, let's move on to my final words. Overall, Smurfs The Lost Village is a fun movie for the whole family. The animation is colorful, the characters are fun and memorable, 
and the humor is just hilarious. So, if you're a fan of these little blue guys, then by all means, go see this movie. And be sure to bring your kids along with you. I give this film an 89% out of 100. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Be sure to join me again next time, where I talk about a famous shipwreck that sank over 100 years ago. Mustang Power. Mustang Power.